Now we all know that being a former president comes with its own set of challenges, but Trump's approach to staying safe is on another level. In fact, whether you love him, hate him, or just can't get enough of his tweets, there's no denying that the security around Donald Trump is a spectacle in itself. From secret service agents to high-tech gadgets straight out of a spy thriller, we're uncovering the jaw-dropping security measures taken to keep one of the most controversial figures in modern history safe. And we are breaking it all down, which is going to be a wild ride, starting with Trump's history with security. The most recent and perhaps the most harrowing chapter in Donald Trump's history with security unfolded on July 13, 2024, at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The event, intended to be a triumphant moment in his campaign for a third Republican nomination, turned into a scene of chaos and terror that shocked the nation. As Trump took the stage, the atmosphere was electric. Supporters cheered and waved banners, eager to hear the former president speak. Trump, ever the showman, began his speech with his characteristic bravado, addressing the crowd with a chart of border crossing numbers. But just a few minutes into his address, the unthinkable happened. Gunshots rang out, piercing the jubilant air and sending the crowd into a frenzy. Trump, visibly startled, clutched at his right ear, which was quickly becoming bloodied. Secret service agents, trained for such moments, sprang into action. They rushed the stage, surrounding Trump and shielding him with their bodies. The agent's swift response was proof of their training and dedication, but the situation was far from under control. The shooter, later identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks, had positioned himself on the roof of a nearby building. Armed with an AR-style rifle, Crooks had a clear line of sight to the stage. The distance, less than 150 meters, was well within the range of his weapon. As the shots continued to ring out, the crowd's initial confusion turned to panic. People screamed and ducked for cover, some diving to the ground, others scrambling to find safety. In the chaos, one attendee was killed, and two others were critically injured. The scene was one of utter pandemonium, with people crying out for help and trying to escape the danger. The Secret Service agents focused on getting Trump to safety. They quickly escorted him off the stage and into his SUV, where he was whisked away from the venue. Despite the severity of the situation, Trump remained defiant. As he was being led away, he pumped his fist in the air, a gesture of resilience that was captured on video and quickly went viral. Later on his social media site, Trump recounted the incident, describing the moment he felt the bullet rip through his ear and the subsequent bleeding. His campaign assured the public that he was fine, despite the injury. The FBI's investigation into the shooting revealed that Crooks had acted alone. The 20-year-old from Bethel Park Pennsylvania had no prior criminal record, and his motives were still under investigation. The attack, however, was the most serious attempt on a presidential candidate's life since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. It underlined the deep political divisions in the United States and the ever-present threat of violence in the current climate. The aftermath of the shooting saw a flurry of reactions from political figures and the public. President Joe Biden, who was running against Trump, condemned the violence, calling it sick and unacceptable. The attack also led to increased security measures at political events, with the Secret Service implementing new protocols to protect candidates. The Butler rally shooting for Trump was yet another chapter in his long history of navigating threats and danger. In fact, the Butler rally shooting was not just an isolated incident, it was a culmination of years of threats and security challenges that have marked Trump's public life. From his early days in real estate to his time in the White House, Trump's concern for his personal safety has been a constant theme. But how much does it cost to sustain such a multi-million dollar security? Of course, protecting a former president has to be a steep price, but how much? The cost of Trump's security. First, let's talk about the Secret Service's expenditure on Trump properties. According to government records obtained and analyzed by Crew, the Secret Service spent nearly $2 million at Trump properties. This includes roughly $1.75 million paid to Trump's businesses, with additional records suggesting thousands more in Secret Service spending at Trump properties, bringing the likely grand total closer to $2 million. One of the biggest sources of expenses was Mar-a-Lago, often referred to as the Winter White House. The documents obtained by Crew through the Freedom of Information Act show the Secret Service is paying Trump's private club more than $300,000 to protect him and his family there. Over his presidency, Trump made an astounding 146 visits to the Palm Beach Club. The records do not show any spending at Mar-a-Lago until 2018, despite the fact Trump visited that property many times the year before, and those visits are known to have resulted in tens of thousands of dollars of Secret Service spending. One source cited that it would be bad enough that he visited his properties nearly 550 times while in office, but it is much worse 
announced that he was using the trips to line his pockets with taxpayer money via his Secret Service protection. One of the defining features of the Trump presidency was how much time he spent golfing. It's not just that he spent nearly a quarter of the days of his presidency at a golf course, it's that he almost exclusively did so at courses that bear his name. Many of Trump's golf courses follow the naming convention of Trump National Golf Club and then the city their nearest. That creates a problem in the records, as most of the expenditures are listed as just Trump National Golf Club without an identifying location, although his Doral course seems to be categorized separately. While we cannot know for sure which courses he was at, the records show the Secret Service spent more than $850,000 at his golf properties, with reported numbers outside of the records obtained by crew, bringing the likely total closer to $1 million. In addition, the Washington Post reported that in some records they analyzed, payments to Mar-a-Lago were sometimes listed as Trump National Golf Club. There is a course in nearby Jupiter, Florida by that name meaning that the full extent of the payments to his private club may be obscured. Likewise, the documents tend to list all of his hotels as just Trump International Hotel, including the recently departed Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. The documents show more than $400,000 spent at Trump hotels, while previous reports suggest a total likely much more than that. For example, documents obtained by the Washington Post show that the Secret Service spent nearly $50,000 at Trump's Washington Hotel in 2016. These new documents don't show any payments to that property until February 2017. This is not to question the legitimacy of these expenses. Of course, presidents and their families need to be protected, but Trump is ostensibly a billionaire, although he's the first president in generations not to release his tax returns, so it's hard to be sure. And these were not personal residences. As Trump is still protected by Secret Service agents, the spending which began before his oath of office at his properties continues. These properties were resorts and hotels. He did not need to charge the Secret Service to stay there. In fact, Eric Trump, who, along with his brother Don Jr., was nominally in charge of his businesses at the time, lied that they were only charging the Secret Service the cost of housekeeping. Trump made a choice to actively grift the Secret Service since it was required to protect him. He appears to have made millions, but the cost to the integrity of the presidency was much higher. Now let's compare this to previous presidents. The cost of protecting a sitting president is always high, but Trump's expenses are unprecedented. For instance, Barack Obama's security costs were significant but did not involve payments to properties he owned. The expenses were primarily for travel, accommodations and logistics, not direct payments to businesses that would profit him personally. George W. Bush also had substantial security costs, especially post-presidency, given his ranch in Texas. However, like Obama, these costs did not involve payments to his own businesses. The contrast is stark and raises questions about the ethical implications of Trump's security expenses. The Secret Service's expenditure at Trump properties is just one facet of the overall cost. The total security detail for Trump, including travel, accommodations and logistics, is estimated to be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. This includes the cost of Air Force One flights, motorcades, and the extensive security measures required for his frequent trips to his properties. For example, each trip to Mar-a-Lago is estimated to cost around $3 million. Considering Trump visited Mar-a-Lago 146 times during his presidency, the total cost for these trips alone is staggering. The expenses include not just the Secret Service's stay, but also the cost of transporting staff, equipment and vehicles. Trump's frequent travel also had a significant impact on local economies. For instance, Palm Beach County estimated that each of Trump's visits to Mar-a-Lago cost the county around $60,000 in security and logistical expenses. Over the course of his presidency, these costs added up to millions of dollars, straining local budgets and resources. In addition to the direct costs, there are also indirect costs associated with Trump's security. For example, the disruption caused by his frequent travel had a significant impact on local businesses and residents. Roads were often closed and air traffic was restricted, causing delays and inconvenience for many. The cost of protecting Trump did not end with his presidency. As a former president, Trump continues to receive Secret Service protection and the expenses continue to mount. The Secret Service is still required to protect him and his family, and the costs associated with this protection are ongoing. In 2021, it was reported that the Secret Service spent around $30,000 on golf cart rentals alone to protect Trump at his properties. This is just one example of the ongoing expenses associated with his protection. Besides that, during his visit to 
Las Vegas after the mass shooting in October 2017, Trump stayed at his hotel and the taxpayers absorbed a $31,000 charge. Well, for Trump's security to cost that much, then there has to be some extensive security measures that he's often subjected to. And what could these measures be exactly? Extensive security measures. One of the most fundamental yet crucial tactics is human shielding. Secret service agents form a protective barrier around the president, ready to intercept any threats at a moment's notice. This tactic has proven its worth time and again, such as when it protected Richard Nixon from a Latin American mob and Ronald Reagan during an assassination attempt. The formation is meticulously planned, with agents positioned to cover all angles, ensuring that any potential assailant is quickly neutralized. Tactical driving is one critical component of the president's security. Secret service drivers undergo rigorous training in both offensive and defensive driving techniques. These include maneuvers like the three-wheel J-turn, high-speed reversing, and safely ramming other vehicles. This level of expertise ensures that the president can be swiftly evacuated from any dangerous situation, making these drivers some of the best in the world. Secret Service agents are also trained to handle being shot. During training exercises, they are shot with fake bullets that leave a colored trace and a superficial sting, but do not cause serious harm. This prepares them to continue their duties even under fire, ensuring the president's safety at all times. This training is crucial as it ensures that agents can remain composed and effective in the face of real threats. Constant surveillance is another vital component of the president's security. Since the assassination of President Kennedy in 1963, the Secret Service has meticulously filmed every presidential motorcade. This footage is invaluable for identifying potential threats and suspects in the event of an attack. Cameras are strategically placed to cover all angles, ensuring that no detail goes unnoticed. Crowd scanning is an essential skill for Secret Service agents, especially during close interactions with the public. Agents constantly scan the area around the president, looking for suspicious behavior such as hands in pockets or bulges in jackets. Their sunglasses, often completely black, allow them to do this covertly, ensuring that no potential threat goes unnoticed. This constant vigilance is crucial for preventing any close-range attacks. Trip planning for the president is an elaborate process that takes months of meticulous preparation. Secret Service agents ensure that airspace is clear, motorcade routes are mapped out, and low-risk hotels are identified. They also locate hospitals and secure locations along the route in case the president needs to be treated or evacuated. This level of detail ensures that practically zero presidential visits are unplanned, minimizing the risk of any unforeseen threats. The president is always under watch, a reality that might seem invasive but is necessary for their safety. From campaign trails to post-presidency, security details are always present. This constant surveillance can be overbearing, as was the case with President Nixon, who replaced his Secret Service detail with private security in 1985. The agents are trained to be discreet yet vigilant, ensuring the president's safety without being overly intrusive. Secret Service agents are trained in system, a brutal Russian martial art used by military personnel like the KGB and Spetsnaz. This martial art focuses on controlling an attacker's biomechanics, making it nearly impossible for any shooter to take out the president at close range. The training uses natural and simple techniques, allowing agents to neutralize threats quickly and efficiently. Food testing is another critical security measure. To prevent poisoning, the Secret Service monitors the entire cooking process when the president dines at non-cleared establishments. Exceptions are made for trusted locations like Buckingham Palace. For takeout food, orders are placed at nearby buildings to ensure the cooks are unaware that the food is for the president. This ensures that no harmful substances are introduced into the president's meals. Letter testing is a sophisticated process used to identify threats sent via mail. Handwritten letters are scanned and matched to documents in the Secret Service's database, while typed letters are analyzed using an ink database. This allows the Secret Service to narrow down their search and find the sender. The process is meticulous, ensuring that any potential threats are identified and neutralized before they can reach the president. Threatening to kill the president is a serious offense, punishable by up to five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. The Secret Service actively scours the internet and public spaces for such threats, categorizing them into three levels of severity. This ensures that any potential threat is thoroughly investigated and appropriate measures are taken to neutralize it. Marine One, the president's helicopter, is equipped with anti-missile countermeasure systems like flares, chaff, and infrared jammers. The helicopter is part of a fleet that includes decoys to obscure the president's location. Every member of the HMX-1 squadron undergoes a specialized background check to ensure the helicopter's security. This ensures that the president can travel safely by air, with multiple layers of protection in place. The White House, the president's residence, is fortified with a complex set of infrared lasers, a no-fly zone, and surface-to-air missiles. Despite these measures, some individuals 
have managed to breach security, highlighting the constant need for vigilance. The security measures are continuously updated and improved to counter any new threats, ensuring that the President's residence remains one of the most secure locations in the world. Air Force One, the President's airplane, is a highly customized Boeing 747 with virtually unlimited range due to its mid-air refueling capability. It features advanced security measures, including protection against electromagnetic pulses and coded communications equipment. The plane's luxurious interior includes a suite for the President, a medical suite, and food preparation galleys capable of feeding 100 people. This ensures that the President can travel safely and comfortably, with all necessary amenities on board. The Beast, the President's limousine, is a fortress on wheels. Weighing 9,000 kilograms, it features 20-centimeter thick doors, bulletproof windows, and a reinforced steel underbody. The car's interior can be sealed against chemical attacks, and the trunk is stocked with tear gas canisters, shotguns, grenade launchers, oxygen tanks, night vision cameras, and a cache of the President's blood type. Despite its impressive security features, the Beast is notoriously difficult to drive and prone to breaking down, making it a rare sight on the road. With all that, it is evident that these extensive security measures ensure that President Donald Trump is protected from a wide range of threats. From advanced surveillance technology to highly trained secret service agents, every detail is meticulously planned and executed to safeguard the President. Now more than ever, it is possible to question how these extensive security measures extend to those around the President, his family and friends. The impact of Trump's security on others. One of the most immediate and noticeable impacts of Trump's security measures is on his family. Melania Trump and their son Barron have had to adapt to a life under constant surveillance and protection. During the early months of Trump's presidency, Melania and Barron chose to remain in New York City, residing in Trump Tower. This decision necessitated a significant security presence, including road closures and an increased police presence around the building. Local residents and business owners in the area expressed frustration over the disruptions, citing difficulties in commuting and a decline in business due to the heightened security. The financial implications of protecting Trump's family have also been a point of contention. The New York Police Department estimated that it cost between $125,000 to $146,000 per day to provide security for Melania and Barron while they were in New York. These expenses were borne by taxpayers, leading to debates over the allocation of public funds. Trump's employees have also felt the impact of his security measures. Those working at his various properties, including hotels, golf courses, Courses and resorts have had to navigate the presence of Secret Service agents and other security personnel. This has sometimes led to tensions and disruptions in their daily routines. For instance, rumor has it that employees at Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey, reported feeling uneasy and restricted by the constant presence of security personnel during Trump's visits. The need for heightened security has also led to increased scrutiny and background checks for employees, adding another layer of complexity to their work environment. The general public has experienced the effects of Trump's security measures in various ways. One of the most significant impacts has been the disruption of public spaces and events. When Trump travels, entire city blocks are often shut down, causing traffic jams and inconveniences for local residents and businesses. For example, during his presidency, Trump's frequent trips to his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida, led to road closures and increased security measures that frustrated local residents and business owners. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office estimated that each of Trump's visits cost the county a approximately $60,000 in security expenses. Protests and demonstrations have also been met with a heavy security presence, leading to clashes between protesters and law enforcement. One notable example occurred during the 2016 Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio, where thousands of protesters gathered to voice their opposition to Trump's candidacy. The city implemented extensive security measures, including the deployment of thousands of police officers and the establishment of a secure perimeter around the convention site. This led to several confrontations between protesters and law enforcement, resulting in multiple arrests and injuries. Another significant incident took place during Trump's visit to the United Kingdom in 2018. The trip was marked by widespread protests and heightened security measures, including the deployment of thousands of police officers and the establishment of no-fly zones over certain areas. The security measures led to road closures and disruptions in public transportation, causing frustration among local residents and commuters. So it's apparent that Trump's security comes at a price, and unfortunately those around him are the ones who always bear the brute force of such extremes, either psychologically or physically. And now, how do the government and secret security agencies come in handy to offer him these levels of security, even though he's not a sitting president? Government and Secret Service Involvement The role of the United States Secret Service in protecting Donald Trump, both during and after his presidency, is a complex and multifaceted operation. 
Established in 1865, the Secret Service initially focused on combating counterfeit currency. However, its mission expanded to include the protection of national leaders following the assassination of President William McKinley on September 6, 1901. By law, under 18 U.S.C. 3056, the Secret Service is authorized to protect the President, Vice President, President-elect, Vice President-elect, and their immediate families. This protection extends to former presidents and their spouses for their lifetimes unless the spouse remarries. Children of former presidents receive protection until they turn 16. The Secret Service also protects visiting foreign dignitaries, major presidential and vice presidential candidates, and certain cabinet-level officials. During Donald Trump's presidency, the Secret Service faced unique challenges. Trump's frequent travels to his private properties, such as Mar-a-Lago in Florida and Trump Tower in New York City, required extensive coordination and resources. The cost of securing these locations led to public scrutiny and debates over the use of taxpayer money. The Secret Service had to request additional funds to cover the expenses, highlighting the financial burden of protecting a high-profile president with multiple residences. One of the most notable incidents highlighting these challenges occurred in 2017, when a woman breached security at Mar-a-Lago by posing as a guest. The incident raised serious concerns about the effectiveness of the security measures in place and prompted a thorough review of protocols. The Secret Service's role extended beyond protecting Trump at his residences. During his presidency, Trump held numerous rallies and public events, each requiring meticulous planning and coordination. The Secret Service conducted advanced site surveys, coordinated with local law enforcement, and implemented extensive security measures to protect the President and the public. One of the most shocking incidents occurred during a Trump rally, where a 20-year-old man from Pennsylvania attempted an assassination. The swift response of the Secret Service and local law enforcement prevented a tragedy, but it underlined the ever-present threats faced by those under their protection. Secret Service agents undergo extensive training to handle a wide range of threats. This includes advanced tactics such as counter-sniper operations, bomb detection, and emergency medical response. Agents are also trained in close quarters combat and evasive driving techniques. This preparation is crucial in ensuring the safety of high-profile individuals like Donald Trump. The history of presidential security is filled with close calls and tragic losses. From the assassination of John F. Kennedy to the attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan, the Secret Service has learned from each incident, constantly evolving its methods and strategies. Today, the agency employs cutting-edge technology to stay ahead of potential threats. This includes sophisticated surveillance systems, cyber security measures, and real-time threat analysis. The Secret Service's protective mission is supported by a range of government agencies. The Diplomatic Security Service, part of the State Department, protects the Secretary of State and visiting foreign dignitaries. The CIA provides protection for its director and deputies, while the U.S. Capitol Police protect congressional leaders. The FBI and U.S. Marshals Service also have their own protective roles, covering the Attorney General, federal judges, and high-profile witnesses. Despite the controversies and challenges, the relationship between Donald Trump and the Secret Service remains one of mutual respect and cooperation. Trump's private security team, known for its loyalty and dedication, works closely with government agencies to ensure seamless protection. This collaboration is essential in creating a multi-layered security net that can adapt to any situation. The world of presidential security is a high-stakes game where every decision can mean the difference difference between life and death. For Donald Trump, the combined efforts of the Secret Service, private security, and other government agencies create a formidable shield against the myriad threats he faces. Their work, often unseen and unappreciated, is a testament to their dedication and bravery. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out our other awesome videos on the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.